Welcome back to another edition of our Maker Series. And today we'd like to share another pretty cool project uh, with you. And I'm joined today by Olaf, who has built this robot with his son in his spare time with Infineon components. Hi, Olaf. Hello. Can you give us a short overview of what are we looking at here? Yeah, uh, as you can see, this is uh, our Lego robot. Um, it's a six axis industrial robot. And we built it um, uh, just for curiosity uh, for us. And uh, at the beginning, um, uh, we started with the Lego Mindstorm brick, but we uh, very uh, soon uh, saw that uh, uh, with four motors, this will not uh, work very well. So at that moment uh, that Infineon has uh, in, uh, brought its new motor controller shield on the market, which is a TLI 94112. This is a shield here on top, which can control six motors uh, at the same time independently. And this uh, fits perfect well onto our um, Lego robot. Uh, so, um, after building this robot, uh, we uh, took this uh, shield and uh, the XMC1100 microcontroller for, from Infineon to control all of these uh, LEGO motors, which we have six here, um, independently. So when I just press this button, you can see this. And on top, on top of that, um, as I used um, two of these shields in this uh, stack here, um, I can control up to eight motors independently at the moment. Wow. So this looks pretty complicated. Can you give us a short walkthrough uh, of where the motors are placed, how the mechanics work? Just just a few more details. So uh, we have uh, one uh, Lego motor here on the bottom, uh, which is turning the table. Then we have uh, one here on the side for the first lever, uh, one in the cage for the second lever, uh, here at the end for the finger turn and two uh, motors in this cage for turning this finger uh, up and down and rotating it. And a seventh motor, it's a micro motor, which is uh, placed here. Um, uh, this one can control the gripper at the front. Um, can you maybe give us a, a bit of an overview of like how did the programming work? How did you all put this together? As, uh, as we took this this motor controller shield, uh, at the same time, Infineon also um, brought its uh, new Arduino library uh, in place and um, uh, we used it here uh, for so uh, we can uh, just take the uh, ordinary Arduino IDE for mm -hmm. that and uh, um, with a little library from Infineon, we could uh, start and control the, the motors. Um, so this uh, Functions I marked here are the uh, starting function, which uh, starts the robot and also finds all the uh, uh, motors which are um, attached to the sh shields. And the second one uh, just gives uh, some information of the product. And uh, also uh, we can control with the uh, microcontroller shield the uh, uh, Tacho encoder of the LEGO robots. So when I turn the one lever you can see are uh, that uh, I can get the positions of these uh, motors. And um, if I restart the program, you can see it will take some, some time, but you can see that uh, at the beginning, uh, this library will find all the attached motors by itself. Wow, that's really impressive. And since this is so complicated and you put so many things together, can you tell us how long did you and your son work on this all together? So this is the, the second version of our robot. Um, and uh, it took in total around about uh, six months to build it together with my son. And uh, on top of that, uh, two to three months for the uh, programming. And we have also a web front end uh, on top of uh, all of that to control the microcontroller from um, a browser. So, and, and also at the meantime, you see um, microcontroller starts and here, here we have an overview of all of the uh, seven motors, which we have uh, yet at the moment under control of this mm -hmm. motor controllers. 
Wow, and uh, since you spent so much time with this, can you share a bit of, of info? What did you learn during this, this whole process and what kind of tips would you give to others who are interested in building something similar? Maybe? Uh, first, first of all, we did it, of course, uh, for fun. Mm -hmm. um, so we learned a lot of uh, things, uh, how to build uh, this Lego uh, gears and levers and so on. And uh, for tips and tricks for that, uh, just go to the Internet. There are a lot of Uh, things uh, you can find for uh, building such a, a legal structure. For the uh, microcontroller part, um, Infineon has a uh, GitHub repository. There you can find uh, all the libraries and also the Arduino port, um, which is a very easy um, start for uh, this XMC controller and also for the Arduino, uh, for the motor controller shield. Mm -hmm. Wow, and um, you already mentioned that you built this whole thing with your son, that your son has actually programmed a web interface. So not by coincidence, we have his son, Marcus, here who's with us today. And he's going to give us a demo on his web interface that he programmed for this very robot. Hello, Marcus. Thank you for taking your time. Can you give us an overview about the setup we're looking at here? Yeah, uh, this is a web front end. Mm -hmm. It's uh, designed uh, to run Uh, on a server, uh, independent and uh, remote uh, from the actual uh, web device, the browser. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I can control the robot uh, via a mobile or notebook device. It shows all the engines detected and uh, I can control the Uh, positions mm -hmm. and uh, the speed and um, all of them are uh, able to be uh, controlled independent from the other mm -hmm. so each of them independently from each other yeah uh, all of them uh, have its own, have its own um, parameters mm -hmm. and um, I can um, input um, them independent from all the other engines and uh, parameters in this program. Wow, pretty nice. And what are you planning for the future? Where is this going from here? Yeah, um, I'm working on a node editing area. Mm -hmm. So um, I can um, put all the nodes together and uh, drop them into each other uh, like an easy to use um, uh, coding um, area like the actual one from Lego mm -hmm. uh, Mindstorms uh, for the Lego brick. Mm -hmm. But this one will work for the Infineon XMC controller. Yeah. It's uh, designed for the XMC controller and um, it's independent from any Lego mm -hmm. um, device or software. Pretty interesting. Good work. Thank you, Marcus. <laughs> So thank you for watching today. If you're interested in starting your own project or if you're in the process of prototyping something, go to infineon.com slash makers. That's the place where we have all our demo boards, evaluation kits and the like and the software for it. So infineon.com slash makers. Or if you're interested in our Arduino port of our microcontroller software, then go to github.com slash infineon. Thanks for watching.